What's going on, beautiful people? What's going on? It's your boy Nico. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, August 11th, and today's day one of the vlog. I'm here in Soho with Anthony. Yo. We are going to be doing an around the world, which just simply means we're gonna be going to a bunch of different little restaurants and getting one thing, maybe two things, an appetizer, and then just jumping around. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, and then I'm gonna let you guys know the outfit of the day and all of that good stuff, but just, I hope you guys can hear me with this mask on. I'll try to keep you guys as much posted as possible. Stay tuned. The first restaurant that I decided to go ahead and visit for my around the world experience food extravaganza is called Jack's Wife Freedom. So I'm guessing this is American food. So I got something very simple, fried zucchini chips. And then my friend Anthony, he got some breakfast steak and eggs with cantaloupe juice. So when we're done with that, we're gonna go to lobster, then tacos, and then probably dim sum or, you know, a little bit of everything. So just make sure you guys stay tuned and let me show you guys what we got available. Zucchini chips with some aioli that I'm not gonna eat and then steak and potatoes. Mm -hmm. This is the second place that we're going to. It's called Ed's Lobster Roll. So we got a lobster roll with some french fries and pickled vegetables and some oysters. But this lobster roll looks very tiny. Tiny for $34. Insane. Alright, we got Nico. So he says this lobster roll looks good. Let's try it right now. I had better. You had better? I had better. I had better oysters too. And it's lobster? Don't come here, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, as always, I just got up and I realized that I never showed you guys what I got from Andre, Andre, Ahami, Leon Dord or Dore. Um, here's the bag right here. I want to show you guys what I got. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but let me know that down in the comment section down below. But first, I want to show you guys is my new phone case. I got this from Casetify. Um, this video is not sponsored. I got the um, the marble back with my little name on it. I really, really thoroughly enjoy how it came out. And I even enjoy the packaging. Like the phone case came in this box over here and then it came with little extra wipes, which I was just like really, really shocked. It did take like a couple of days to come, but you know, it's neither here nor there. This was my old phone case and I just got tired of it. It was looking kind of dingy and dirty. So I just, you know, invested in the Tastify one and I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in that. And here's the Ame stuff. So I got myself a hat. These are just like signature pieces. So I got myself a hat because um, uh, I need another black hat. So if you guys can see, there goes a detail. It's just is like little signature on there. I love these type of caps. I don't like five panel and I don't like snap backs. I only wear these sort of dad hats. And then what I needed another shirt, which I probably didn't, but I got the, um, the black one. If you guys don't know, I have an orange one. You know what, maybe I should just show you guys. Don't look at the mess. But I have an orange one here. This is an orange one, but it has like, um, oil stains all over it so I'm thinking of tie dyeing that one I'm not sure yet um, let me know if you guys want to see that but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that just because the oil stains are irking me but um, that's what I got and what else I was gonna show you guys I was gonna show you guys something else oh this is what I wanted to show you guys so I keep all my hats back here and this is the reason why I got a new hat because all of them are turning like this burnt orange from the Sun and I'm not a fan of that so that one turned um, I don't really wear that one. This is my thing hat and like this one is turning too. Like if you guys can see, you probably can't see it in the light, but it's turning like, you know, this part here is turning like that orange black bleached. So I don't like that. 
that is why I got another black hat. Let me put it on for you guys so you guys can see how it looks on me. You know, this is how it looks. Um, and then we're gonna like just like go like that. I like running in these hats. I like, you know, just making sure, you know, my face is protected. I kind of don't like that it's short on the side, but I can get over that. Or I can wear it like this, you know, well, like this. And, you know, it's not too bad. So um, I don't mind. This hat costs $55, and then the t shirt costs $85. The Foreo costs $89 from $150, I think. I don't know. The phone case, I think, costs like $50. So everything is pretty much reasonably priced. And, um,. That's pretty much about it. I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things and a couple of updates and you know, show you guys a couple of things, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face, get myself together, and then I'm gonna come back to you guys shortly. In this portion of the video, I wanted to do an assumption slash question portion. Um, I thought it would be fun just to end the video this way. Um, this is something I commonly don't do, but if I like it, I'm gonna continue doing it at the end of each video. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I am also thinking of doing my first Q&A on this channel. I don't know when yet, but it's gonna come up soon, and I'm going to ask you guys to ask me questions. I'm thinking via Instagram. Um, just because I don't want to go ahead and, you know, search for questions. I just want everything to be in one place so I can just go ahead and answer them. Um, I'm going to keep you guys posted, but, you know, let's just jump right into it. I don't want to, you know, prolong the um, ending part of this video. So the first one is, you're fat, stop squeezing into St. Laurent. Um, I think that, you know, I thought it was, you know, kind of funny just because, you know, I know I'm not fat. Um, I grew up in, you know, the early 2000s, you know, when bullying was like, you know, uh, a way of life and it's, it, now it turned into something huge. So I don't condone that now, but um, I have thick skin. I, you know, don't cry at little things that people say. If you say I'm fat, hey, I'm fat, you know, it is what it is, but I do, you know, work out and babe, I'm not squeezing into anything. Everything that I get is my size. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I don't mind going up a size or down a size. I just wear what fits me. So I'm not squeezing into anything. And if you think I'm fat, then hey, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. I heard fat guys get love. Um, the next um, question is, what's that black thing above your eye? You know, you would think that people don't ask these questions, but they do. Um, this, it's a birthmark. Um, I had it ever since I was born. I was considering removing it, but you know, my first consultation was, you know, maybe like 15 years ago, and he said it's too close to your eye, and, and you know, the technology wasn't good then, but I did go for a second consultation, and I just thought, no, um, this is who I am. I don't know who I would be without my birthmark. My mother sometimes gets very furious if I want to remove it just because she's like, no, you were born this way, just leave it at that. And my family just say, you know, they don't condone it, um, but sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't have it, but then I would be like, who is Nico today and without this birthmark? I just think that I'll just be some random dude on the street that nobody will recognize. And as you guys get to know me more, you or if you talk to me or any of my friends, they forget it's there. I even sometimes forget it's there until like a stranger or maybe a little kid like looks at me like weird and I'll be like, oh, okay, they're looking at my birthmark. But other than that, I'm comfortable with it and it's just a birthmark. Um, the next assumption is you fill a void by shopping. Um, I don't fill any voids by doing anything. I like to think of it as I enjoy shopping. I'm not filling a void. Um, some people love collecting cards. Some people love collecting cards or coins or, you know, traveling or money or anything. And I just love to collect clothes or sneakers or accessories or anything like that. Um, there's no void getting filled, um, because, you know, shopping as everyone knows, does not fill a void just because, you know, if you're down emotionally, you would want to shop some more. So I think that, you know, to fill a void, you would have to go to therapy or talk to someone or see where the problem, you know, is deep rooted at. And then you can go ahead and solve it. And I am not filling any voids by shopping. I just love to shop or I love to buy myself whatever I want to buy. Um, the next thing is, why don't you make videos about Hermes anymore? As you guys know, I started this channel, you know, mostly, you know, talking about Hermes because it was one of my favorite fashion houses. And I don't know, I just fell out of it. I just didn't like anything anymore for the longest. And I started getting a lot of stuff, like how many scarves can I get? How many jewelry can I get? How many, you know, ready-to-wear can I get? How many bags can I get? And I was mostly talking about it so I can go ahead and build my profile so I can get a uh, Kelly size 40 but I'm just like you know I'm not doing that anymore 
Um, I did reach out to my essay the other day. You know, she said, "Oh, you don't. You can just come in and come and visit me." I still haven't visited her yet, but I did go to the, another Hermes, and I. This is the, the latest purchase that I bought. It is this um, scarf. I had a gift card from them, and I was like, "Let me just use it." So this is the latest thing that I bought. It is this, and it's so cool. Um, it's just like this little Jaguar. And I'm thinking I'm going to wear it in my belt loop pocket because that's what the SA, the sales associate, he was wearing it in his belt pants pocket and I was just obsessed with it. So I was like, hey, I want that. So I spent my gift card to go ahead and get it. But um, I'm not going to not talk about Hermes, but I'm just not going to go ahead and start, you know, shopping there just to shop there. There are little bits and bobs that I want, but um, that won't be the main focus of this channel. Um, what else? Okay, the next one, this is a good one. You're a guy, why do you wear women's bags? Um, I believe that, you know, you can wear whatever you want. I'm going to wear whatever I want. If I like it, I see it, I have the money, I'm going to buy it. Um, and I think that bags are just bags. There's not, you know, anything wrong with it. You know, women can wear guys' bags, guys can wear women's bags. And to me, it's not a women's bag. It's just a bag. You know, like, I love this bag. Yeah, it was in the women's apartment, but... It's a big one, you know, it is what it is. I don't really have anything to say about that. I just like what I like and I buy what I want to buy. So, you know, if you guys don't want to wear something because of the label, then that's up to you. You don't you don't wear it. You know, it is what it is. And the last one that I'm going to answer is you seem like a very cool, chill, down to earth person, you know, and I'm like, yeah, I am. Whatever you see in these videos is what you're going to get in real life. You know, if you guys know me in real life or if you guys have seen me or spotted me, don't be afraid to come say hi because, you know, I'm going to be as hype as you guys are. I'm more of an energy person, so if you give me good energies, I'm going to give that good energy back. If you give me negative energy, I'm going to give you negative energy back. Um, but that's just about it, about the assumptions. I wanted it to be really quick and really short just because, you know, I wanted to see if I wanted to do it or not. But um, it's not too bad, but I'm going to let you guys know when and where to ask me questions at. But that's about it for this video, you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe to all my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I do videos about vlogging, shopping, reviews, um, comparisons, uh, unboxings, all of that good stuff. So if you guys definitely want to see more of that, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Um, comment down below. Hmm, what do I want you guys to comment? I want you guys to comment. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What was your first item from Hermes? Do you want anything from Hermes? You know, uh, tell me, you know, anything about Hermes. Do you, do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? You know, I want to hear all of that. And um, that's about it. So, peace. Have a beautiful day.